Welcome to Draft Utopia today. My name is Chris Ransom, and today is just going to be a brief show, but we're joined by today's guest, Syracuse midfielder Mo Adams, the sophomore midfielder from Syracuse. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm doing very well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, I've got my questions ready. I'll we'll drive straight into it. Where did you grow up playing soccer? Um, I actually, I'm originally from Eritrea, which is East Africa. I um, moved to England when I was eight. Um, you know, after a year of being in England, I joined Nottingham Forest Academy. Played there for five years. I uh, was offered a scholarship. Um, uh, and then I was actually offered a scholarship from Nottingham Forest and Derby County, uh, a rivalry team of Nottingham. Um, so, you know, Derby County were bringing more players through the academy system at the time. So I decided to kind of accept that one and move across um, into Derby. Played there for two years. Um, unfortunately, I got offered a professional contract and then went to Blackburn Rovers, got offered one uh, before I could sign it. Like literally the next day after I was, I was offered the contract, I got injured in practice, uh, tore four ligaments on my ankle and they decided to take it away. So it's been, it's been a ride, it's been a journey. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my next question was going to be to mention some of the prep teams you played for growing up, but I think you mentioned that when I asked you the last question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the two teams that I played for um, would be Nottingham Forest and Derby County. So I played, I'd say, like seven years in total of academy soccer back in England. All right. I'm just curious, how many other schools besides Syracuse recruited you in the recruiting part of the process, or was Syracuse the only school to give you a scholarship? No, no, Syracuse wasn't the only school. I think, you know, that this was actually the toughest part, deciding which school to actually commit to. I was offered, um, you know, scholarships from, from several ACC schools um, that were played against this year. I got offered some from uh, the Big Ten and a couple more. So I think in terms of I had around 10 offers, and then it was just a case of, finding the one that's most suitable for me and one where I feel most comfortable in developing myself as a student athlete. So I think I made the right decision coming to Syracuse and it's working out pretty well. Sounds like it. Um, Syracuse yeah. made the College Cup the year they recruited you back in 2015. Did that influence your decision yeah. or were there other factors that influenced your decision to commit to Syracuse? Um, I think, yes, that had a part in uh, influenced in my decision. The same with Clemson. Clemson was actually one of the schools I was talking to. They actually hit the um, Syracuse in the College Cup. But um, I think the thing that topped it off for me was, you know, I was coming in, I knew what was expected of me as a freshman. I knew I was an impact player that was going to come in and, you know, be involved straight away. And to top it off as well, you know, Coach Mack came, came to visit me in England and, you know, speaking with him and talking about our plans for the next year or so, it was just kind of, you know, a match, to be honest. And, you know, I think... Everything he said is, is, is what's, got, what's happening. So, you know, it was a fantastic year last year. For I think we did pretty well. And myself had a really good season. So, you know, he stuck to his words and actually, you know, let, let me have the opportunity on the field and I think I took it. Describe the mentorship Miles Robinson provided for you and your teammates in 2016 during your freshman season. I mean, Miles, like you say, is a, is a man of words but he does his talking on the field man um you know he's a very quiet guy very humble person but when he steps on the field he's, he's, he's a beast um and you can see that his style of play is very aggressive um and he's just a, he's a leader with his actions i think um you know he works extremely hard and i think you know he deserves everything he's got right now and you know for him to go second in the draft last year it just there was no surprise for us guys who have actually played with him and seen him throughout the year so i think he deserves it and i'm really really proud of him man all right. Syracuse has transformed into a generation Adidas factory the last few years. Alex Bono, 2015. Yeah. Boucher, 2016. Okay. Miles Robinson last year. Do you believe you're the next Syracuse player to receive this honor in either 2018 or 2019? Um, yes, I'd say so. I think, I think I've got a good chance of getting it, um, whether it's this year or whether it's next year. Um, you know, the thing about Syracuse, and this is one of the reasons why I decided to come here, because... You know, they'll push you to, to kind of achieve what you want to do, you know. Uh, when I was being recruited, Coach Coach Mack asked me, what do you want? And, you know, actually the telling him to share contract was one of the things that I wanted. Um, I mean, if their offer is right. So, um, I think, you know, I have a good shot of getting there. But like I said, you know, if the offer's right, then I'll, then I'll accept it. If not, you know, I've got some, some other things lined up, you know, whether it's here at school, whether it's abroad. So, you know, it's just a case of finding the right fit for myself to, to develop as a player. 
What separates you from the other defensive midfielders that are seniors in the Super Draft, like Drew Scudrick out of Stanford or Rosansky out of Maryland? I know you've got the speed, you, the coverage, the upside locked down on tape, but go ahead and tell me yeah. what separates you from those guys. Um, I think, you know, once, you know, one thing I get complimented about the most is my physical attribute. But then again, um, I think my reading of the game is very well. I mean, if you really watch me closely, you can see how many interceptions and, and you know, tackles I make during the game. So it's just about covering ground, but at the same time, um, you kind of need to know where to be and in what position. And then again, also another factor is, you know, the fact that I'm a leader. Um, you know, I'm a sophomore, but I'm also a captain of the team. So... I think that's due to the experience I had back home and it's kind of the effect that I can have on my teammates. So, you know, I think I've, I've done well in my first year and I don't think I look back to listen. So it's just the fact of me kind of having a a job to do when sticking to the task during the game. I've had to mark, man mark several players this year, whether it's Pablo Aguilar or, you know, had to do Joe Holland last year, Alan Wayne, you know, there's several players which I've had to man mark and I think I've done a very great job with them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you really helped that back line during your freshman year, and it wasn't just um, yeah. Miles. There was a Liam Callahan. There were a lot of good players in that Syracuse back line last year, and you've had to yeah. step up and be the leader this year. Um, did you win any accolades so far during your two seasons at Syracuse outside of being voted team captain, like any prestigious achievements? Yeah, I mean, I've won the, the actual soccer team, the men's soccer team rookie of the year last year. I won the Syracuse University Men's Rookie of the Year. Um, I was all South Region second team last year. I was all freshman team. I was all uh, ACC third team. I'm ACC second team this year. I was on the Mike Kermit trip and watch list. So it's very flattering to receive these honors. And, you know, it kind of just shows that your work is, isn't is going unnoticed and people actually appreciate the work they're putting in on the field and stuff like that. So that's a positive too when, when you know, you kind of get rewarded for your efforts that you put in on the field. Wait, I already asked that. You played for Syracuse Orange. Any other fruits besides oranges is in your training diet in terms of eating, working out properly, conditioning, like training and stuff? Can you repeat the question, sorry? Um, there's 11 questions. I've asked uh, eight, I think. This might be the ninth question. I was just asking yeah, yeah. about like the training and the diet and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's something, you know, I've brought, been brought up on. In England, you know, there's a very strict diet, there's a very strict, and everything we do is kind of professional, and it's, um, you know, I lived away from home for, for my two years at Derby County, and I was living with like a host family who provided all the food for me, and, you know, I'd be fed at the training ground and stuff like that, so everything was kind of, you know, done for you, but having, you know, learned from that, you know, I've come to college now where you kind of have to take care of your own food and stuff like that, so... You know, now that kind of that separates me because I know what's expected of me to become a professional soccer player and having been brought up in that professional environment for seven years in total in England, I've kind of, you know, to have it now, I know when to eat and I want to eat and I want to rest and I don't have to train. So, you know, it's just all about habits and kind of being, you know, having that drive to stick to the task to get what you want. All right. If I'm running Generation Adidas, convince me why I should make you an offer, hypothetically. <laughs> um... Well, I personally think, you know, I'm the best player in my position in this year. Um, you know, having only been a sophomore, you can you can ask any any of the coaches we played against this year and they, you know, they'll tell you I'm the probably one of the stand up players on the field. Um you know, I've got options right now whether it's abroad, whether it's to stay in college. But, you know, my dream is to to become a professional soccer player and fingers crossed that'll be in MLS. Um and I think you know, man for man, you know, if you put me up against anyone, I think, you know, I'll be the man to come out on top. And, you know, I've got a highlight here. If anybody wants to see it, in contact with me. Yeah, I I agree. I think that's a good point. I, I've seen your tape. I like some of the things you've shown, whether it's the speed or the coverage or ability to drop back. Assuming I make you an offer to the Combine and a scout interviews you during the Combine and says you led Syracuse with nine yellow cards, how do you respond? Yeah. on and overcome an objection like that because I think the key to success is to stay calm when you're put under pressure in tough critical situations whether it, it be interview questions <laughs> or just staying calm and in that moment mm -hmm. no that, that's a good point actually um, I do think uh, you know we, we didn't we weren't great this year I'll be the first to admit it we just weren't good enough um, I do think I was kind of 
you know, left alone sometimes in the middle, and I've had to make, you know, challenges kind of prevent a team from, from attacking, or whether it's to kind of prevent a goal scoring opportunity. And, and, you know, I think everything I do is for the good of the team, you know, it's not a, a selfish yellow card where, you know, I'm mapping off to the referee or something like that. So if I do get a yellow card, it was kind of an intention to stop a goal scoring opportunity, whether it was someone was out of position or somebody got beat and it was through on goal. So I think, you know, you know, it's kind of style of play. And also, if you're an aggressive guy who's always on the front foot, and as a defensive midfielder, which doesn't get beat much, you're gonna have to, you're gonna you're gonna collect yellow cards. That's expected from you. You know, I'm not a, a striker or a number ten who's gonna make you know unnecessary challenges. I'm gonna try whenever ball that comes my way. So you want someone, some you know, just kind of slip away from you. That is pretty much everything, ladies and gentlemen. Mo Adams, freshman of the year at Syracuse, now sophomore captain for the Syracuse Orange. He may be back next year. He might be in the MLS. Either way, we really enjoyed having him on. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mo. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. The Utopia of Sports.